I'm Alessandra Barrett, Special Projects Editor for the Journal of Commerce. I'm at our annual TPM conference in Long Beach, and I'm joined by Curtis Foltz, Executive Director of Georgia Ports Authority. Thanks for joining me today, Curtis. Uh, it's great to be here, Alessandra. Savannah's reporting a 12.5% growth in TEUs for January. What are your predictions for the rest of the year? Well, I think, you know, January was an unusually strong month for us. Uh, fiscal year to date for us, we're up about 7%. I think as we look to the balance of the year, we're going to probably see growth in that uh, 5 to 7 percent range for uh, the balance of calendar year 2014. It seems like all of the approvals are finally in line. What's the latest on the Harbor Expansion Project? Well, as we like to refer to it, it's SHEP, the Savannah Harbor Expansion Project. Um, I'd say that 99.9 .9 percent of the approvals are in hand. We're still working on one final piece. Uh, it's currently, we believe, is going to be covered in the Water Resources Development Act bill that uh, has overwhelmingly been passed by the Senate and the House and is currently in conference. And from what we expect, although it's always challenging to anticipate anything coming out of the federal government nowadays, but uh, what we are hearing that within the next 30 to 60 days that bill will be passed. Uh, when it's passed, it'll have our reauthorized or new authorized spending level that that is uh, consistent with what the Army Corps of Engineers has, uh, has indicated, and then we'll be ready to go. What other investments are being made to handle the larger capacity vessels? Well, you know, it, for us, we've taken a holistic approach to investments in our ports and, and to handle not only just larger ships, but more volumes efficiently through our ports. Uh, it, you know, it's not a one-size-fits-all type uh, scenario. Uh, over the last several years, we've spent about $110, $120 million every year uh, growing our capacity. So we recently, just this past year, uh, we commissioned four new Super Post Panamax gantry cranes, uh, 20 new RTGs, the first all-electric RTGs in the world, so as or in the U.S. So as we grow, we're going to grow environmentally responsible. Uh, we are improving our road and rail access, while at the same time continuing to revise and improve our terminal layouts and terminal systems. Um, we've just completed a new 20 plus million dollar technology upgrade. So I think when you look at what, how we've approached it through Georgia Ports Authority, you know, it's, it's a long term vision to make sure that our ports are capable of handling not just larger ships, but the additional volumes we think commerce deserves efficiently through the southeast. Well, thanks for taking time from the conference to speak with me today. Alessandra, always great to be here. Thanks for having me. We've been speaking with Curtis Fultz, Executive Director of Georgia Ports Authority.